Okay, this is a quick introduction. What I'm going to use here, speaker switcher. And they're all at the same volume. I can pull up any combination of any of these speakers. Um, all, none of them, A, B, whatever. Okay. Top amp here is a Fender Texas Red Blues Junior that I modified running a pair of EL84s, uh, 15 watts, which is actually pretty loud. Um, it is with a stock um, Canvas Rex Eminent speaker. So what I'm doing here is I'm showing you some Canvas speakers, um, but basically what you can buy stock off the market or what you can have through a new company called PMR. Uh, the speakers made by Jason Tice that are patent pending. Well, the patent is almost ready. They're PAF uh, with some number, which I don't know, but they're called Hemp Opotamus. Um, they are trademarked, and they're hemp speakers that have been, have been tweaked out that enough that they earn a, uh, a patent. Here I have a Ryson cabinet, um, Bob Rizzi. Um, these were uh, built back in the 70s, and he's rebuilding them again. Uh, this is a 4.8 cabinet, which started this whole process with uh, Jason. I needed a 8-inch speaker that would, well, was the best-sounding 8-inch speaker I could find. And I couldn't find one, so we ended up having it built. And as we built the 8 inch, it evolved into 10 inches and 12 inch and 15 inch and 6 inch and 4 inch. And um, what I started out with was, was just a little 1 inch, 8 inch driver, which really sounded good. Um, I ended up with a room full of 15 inch bass drivers and it got crazy. So, what I'm having here is here you got a 4 8 of the hippopotamus speakers, a 2.8, which I fit inside. This is a old Jet City cabinet, a uh, very solid cabinet. These cabinets are all, all wood cabinets, which is why I picked them and I gutted them all and put all custom cabinets in it, or speakers in it, excuse me. So I got a 2.8 here. Here I have a 1.12, uh, it's an acoustic research. This is not, uh, I call it a yellow jacket, got a big yellow ring around it. It was originally a bass speaker, but it's, uh, it can be bass or guitar, and it just sounds killer on guitar. So this is another uh, speaker by Jason, by PMR speakers. And the, although this isn't a hemp speaker, it's something that you can have, because he will custom build anything that you want. And down here at the bottom is a uh, this is the only uh, speaker cabinet that wasn't solid wood. Uh, and actually, neither of these were solid wood. They were plywood or particle board. But I did a, a coating to them to solid, solidify them. Well, not solidify them, but make them solid so they wouldn't, wouldn't sound so particle boardy. And there's a way to do that. Uh, I can tell you and show you in another video. But um, this has an old EV um, Alnico speaker in it, and it's a it's got the new uh, hemp speaker hemp tone in it. And when Jason rebuilds these speakers, they're all American-made parts, uh, GSA uh, drivers, uh, the voice coils he had built for the eight-inch speakers that are in here. And I have a couple of them I'll show you that are out of the box yet, and some just came in. But this is a project that started back in, I started with Bob Rizzi in October of 2009. And I started with Jason in 2010, in about February. And we, I believe that's the date. Um, I might be a year off. managed to almost have a patent in one year's time, which is phenomenal. Uh, 
to have it when you leave uh, Stanford University. Uh, he didn't mess around. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to splice together these things uh, and you'll be able to hear the difference between the speakers as I can switch on and off through a NG, uh, NXD uh, speaker switcher which will handle 100 watts uh, 8 ohm speakers and they're all balanced out actually they, they're all pretty much the same except uh, well, one of them has this uh, one notch up it's the equalized volume so I'll cut this off and the next one I'll splice into a actual sound tape 